Hello, you beautiful people. Find a way through here. Reese is gonna be surprised to see us, huh? And welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. No, Jedi Survivor, where we want to find G's, right? The I think it's the. Can't go this way. It's the repair dude, right? I mean, it's pretty damn apparent since our ship is, so to say, it crashed a little bit and it was... It needs repairs. It needed repairs before and now. Where am I leading this point, right? Stupid me. Okay, what did we find here? Okay, a light metal. I do like that. Oh, new! Oh, I remember. This seat can be seated in or on our ship. It's actually pretty damn neat. Should go left, but I am still gonna take a look here. What'd you find, buddy? indicates that it was used to control the movement of tar between the dams in order to maintain a safe level for prospectors, prospectors to work. Okay, that means... If I can deactivate this bugger, the ship of the other dude might be free. The little droid. Although, yeah, we can jump over there. I reckon we need to rise the level. Let's see. Wait, wait, wait. Scan. These old dams aren't held together by much. A lack of maintenance and relent rel relentless creep of time has visibly worn many of the George dams down to a dangerous state. Cracks and leaks can be seen everywhere across their aging, aging surfaces. Okay, there's maybe a shortcut. Now. Please let me go. We won't prospect in the gorge again. You hear that? No. Do it. Call it in. Another one down. Ravis will want to know. <laughs> yeah, bad thing. I don't know if he could have saved the buddy who was dropped down. On the other hand, can't change that now. And on the other hand, obviously, very, very bad how I dealt the combat. And it, this looks like we can jump on the poles, on the steel spears. So we can one shot those close combat dudes by. Yeah, scan it. By jumping on them, okay. that's good to know. Roller mine. The roller mine is a Kobo um, curiosity, although it is known to be a Kobo original creation and presumably made for blasting through rock and debris. Its true or origins lie shrouded in some mystery. Some say it was created by one of Kobo's earliest prospectors, a um, prophylic inventor, but no single story can co corroborate another on the matter. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good that it did not explode immediately. You, I was trespassing. Blasting. Uh, 
It was not, not nice. The prospe uh, prospector was held up by Bedland raiders who claimed the valley as their territory. The prospectors ran and the raiders gave chase. These. Yep. Well BX droid. Whoopsie daisies. Where the B1 and B2 droids were merely foot, so foot soldiers to the separatist, separatist army, sorry my English. The BX series droids serve a more specialized purpose infiltration and elimination, sturdy, agile, and with advanced programming. The Vipro Sword Arm BX droid is a much more dangerous adversary than any of its contemporaries. The dudes before. No. No, 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 no. No one has entered. Found another shard. What are you doing down here? Waiting, watching, always watching. I keep talking, looking at you, right? Right. So that was lucky, but good. Now what do we have here? Oh, anodized metal. Nice. Alright, I thought I could do something there. Alright, then. I'm just guessing. I am obviously not certain that I can do anything with that open the door or whatever if I remember of course at a later stage can I okay the chains cannot be cut I don't know I am sometimes feeling like a little kiddo that I am intrigued by things in games like cutting cables And yes, I am. It feels like I'm getting better in close combat. That's good. Nice. Jacket. Tactical. Why? But what did we not... I don't want to go... Okay, good. Anyways, the jacket with the cape looks better on the other hand too. Hey, what have you found? You want to press it, right? Those things pack a punch. Okay, let's find a way out of this heart pit. Okay, I see. Come on. Okay, a little bit more to the left. I'm gonna make it in a second. I'm afraid that these guys are just gonna risk it.
Even further, okay. That could be useful. Yep, and Oh, sorry. Can't use this lift yet. Yeah, I think what we have to do here. Okay, I've a I've an idea. Let's see if that works out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used a lot of them. Come here, little bugger. Yeah, good. There, that should do it. Let's keep moving. We're almost there. This is really not pleasant. Hello, big boy. BD. BD one, are you okay? I tell you to be more careful about who you scan? Come on. Should have left you in that rat tar nest. Beep beep. I do like it's sweet. Um what else can I say? Curious to a fault and fearless, BD1 will scan anything that moves, even if his targets could eat him. By accident. I don't think that a big guy, the big turtle here, it looks like a beer, anyways, um, actually, the thing in his face, obviously, would eat him on purpose. The thing is, That was so bloody stupid, man. Obviously, with the rocket, force pull ain't the best thing to do, right? Push. Push would have been the best option. But let's fight our way at least back there. The stuff gets everywhere and on the me well not in the meantime on the other hand we can then too take a look before we go in the elevator I'm used to them elevators in Elden Ring right that you go to the middle and then stuff happens like going down but I even though I was not certain if that would trigger that here because I actually wanted to Take a look, right? Good. Nice. Um, that was good. Guys, that right now then brings us to the end of this episode and you know it. Okay, there ain't no force. 
um, and wall walk available to the end of this episode in the next one in the next one we will obviously go on but for now you know it i as usual really really thank you for watching if you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully and hopefully i see you in the next episode until then i wish you all a wonderful day stay frosty bye